Good day everyone, this is Miss Sands here. I will be discussing on subject and verb agreement. Are we ready? Let's take a look first at some of our objectives for this lesson. First, give full understanding of the different rules in subject verb agreement. Second, identify the correct form of the verb with respect to its subject based on the rules. Third, show appreciation of the value of devotion to study in relation to the lesson. Fourth, ask and answer questions coherently and in correct grammar. And finally, answer the assessment with confidence, applying the rules on subject and verb agreement. Before we continue, I would like to invite everyone to watch the video to understand why we still need to discuss this topic. You may pause the video anytime so that you can go back to those that are confusing for you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. Kindly look if there is an error in this sentence. If you saw that R should have been is, then you are correct. Wrong is singular and it is the subject of the sentence. We have to take note that our subject and our verb should always agree with each other. Let us now discuss subject and verb agreement. The basic rule is, a singular subject takes a singular verb, and a plural subject takes a plural verb. Of course, there are several rules that we need to consider so that our subject and our verb really agrees. Here are some of them. Rule number one states that, subordinate clauses and prepositional phrases that come between the subject and verb don't affect their agreement. In this example, the girl who is wearing jeans is my sister. Of course, girl is your subject and is is your verb. The subject and the verb are both singular. The colors of the rainbow are beautiful. Colors is your subject and are is the verb. In the next sentence, boy is your subject and is is your verb. Both of them are singular. Rule number two states that when the sentence starts with there or here, the subject will always be placed after the verb. There is a problem with this test. Is is the verb and the subject is problem which is singular. Here are the papers you answered. Are is the verb, and papers is your subject, which are both plural. Rule number three states that if the word each, every, or no comes before the subject, the verb is singular. No smoking is allowed. The word no smoking is your subject, and its verb is is. In the next sentence, Every man and woman is your subject, and the verb is still singular, which is is. If there are two subjects connected by either or, neither nor, or, nor, or not only but also, the verb agrees with the noun nearest it. Let's take a look at some of these examples. For the first one, the noun near the verb is friends. That is why both of them are plural. My mother follows a singular verb because both of them are singular. Units of measure such as time, money, and fractions usually take the singular verb. Ten minutes is not enough. One-fourth of the pizza was already eaten. If the sentence begins with some, half, none, more, or all, the verb agrees with the noun subject in the off phrase. In the first sentence, chickens is the noun in the off phrase, and since it's plural, we need to follow a plural verb. But in the second sentence, since chicken is the noun in the off phrase, and it is singular, we need a singular verb. 
indefinite pronouns take singular verbs. Everybody wants to party, and someone is looking at you. There is a list of indefinite pronouns that can be found on your LMS. These can guide you in identifying if you need a singular or a plural verb for your sentence. But the pronouns few, many, both, and several take plural verbs. Few people think about their future. Both students are excellent in science. If the sentence begins with the number, the verb is singular. If the sentence begins with a number, the verb is plural. The number of books I read is quite many. A number of books I read are on the bestsellers list. If the sentence has two subjects connected by end, the verb is usually plural. It becomes singular if the two subjects are referring to the same person or thing. In the sentence, the llama and the monkey are hanging out, the verb is plural. My friend and companion is the llama. This time, the verb is singular because friend and companion are both referring to the llama. If you have questions or concerns, you may pause the video and you can go back to the first set of rules. Compound subjects that usually come together uses a singular verb. Some examples usually refer to food that we often buy together, such as Bread and butter is an awesome combination. Collective nouns and nouns that are plural in form but singular in meaning usually take a singular verb. Some collective nouns are herd, group, family, class, crowd. In the sentence, the class decides together. Please take note of the following samples for plural nouns with singular meaning. In the sentence, mathematics is a subject not many are fond of. Titles of movies or books usually take a singular verb. Little women, which looks plural because of the word women, is actually a singular title of a book. That is why the verb used is singular. This time, try answering the following on your own. All of the donations has or have been given. The number of boxes for the pantry is or overwhelming. Anybody is or encouraged to give a helping hand. Either the teachers or the students was were able to join the blood drive. Let's check if your answers are all correct. Are we ready? In the first one, all of the donations has or have been given. The correct answer is have. The number of boxes for the pantry is or are overwhelming. The correct answer is is. Anybody is or are encouraged to give a helping hand? Correct answer is. Either the teachers or the students was or were able to join the blood drive. Correct answer is were. Next, Puto and Dinagoan was or were the food given to the evacuees. Many is or are called, but few is or are chosen. 50 million pesos is or are the amount for the ayuda. The mayor, together with his staff, 
is or are in charge of the donation drive. Let's check if you got all your answers correct. For the first one, Puto and Dinuguan was or were the food given to the evacuees. Our correct answer is... The word was. Take note, Puto and Dinuguan usually go together. The second sentence, many are called, but few are chosen. Many and few always take a plural verb. 50 million pesos is the amount for the ayuda. And the mayor, together with his staff, is in charge of the donation drive. Congratulations if you got all of your answers correct. Keep in mind, the sentences remind us all of one important message. Despite challenges, we are all in this together. Our value of the week is care for the common good. Remember, the verb always agrees with the subject. Thank you and God bless us all. The next video will serve as a review for our lesson today. Remember that there are other rules that may not be in this video. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and God bless.